very very good evening and a warm welcome to all those who have joined for our session welcome to our expert ms deepa bhushan director schools of cp goenka international school and our student uh, ms sanjana she is uh, studying at a levels at our school a very warm welcome to all of you we'll uh, you. begin in a bit uh, we're waiting for all the others to join um so we are waiting for all of you to ask your queries questions uh it's going to be a very very interactive session so i would request all of you to put down your questions in the chat box so we can take your questions one after the other and we have our experts here uh, and she's going to answer all your queries all your questions so keep writing to us and to keep sending your questions to us we'll try and write or respond to all your questions right now but just in case we if you are unable to we'll definitely get back to your questions and we'll write back to you i hope um, we'll have a wonderful session today and a great evening thank you all of you those who are joining i can see a lot of people joining our session uh, a warm welcome Uh, to those uh, who have joined us right now um vinayak sharma a very good evening for joining uh, our session thank you so much um we have ms ridhima uh, who has joined us right now and yeah i can see a lot of people joining us for this interactive session our sole objective is to answer a lot of questions which frequently parents and students ask and i hope um, we are able to we will be able to answer all your questions by the end of the session a uh, very good evening uh, ms sana um, ms swati a very good evening to all the people those who have joined us right now to make our evening and your evening a very special and an interactive one uh, yes a uh, good evening um, ms neha who has just joined us Miss Ashwinder, thank you for joining us. Uh, Miss Swati, she has also joined us. So, yeah, we'll wait for a couple of minutes more, and we want all of you to be benefited by the session what we are conducting. Um, I am uh, Miss Ritu. I am the vice principal of Goenka International School, and I'm also heading the A level programs. Um, at cp goenka international school uh, ms kavita good evening uh, ms tara very good evening ms manisha very good evening thank you for joining us yeah and um, we are looking for a very interactive session so like i said please keep writing all your queries all your questions in the chat box and we'll take all your questions one by one yeah uh, i can see a lot of people um, they've already joined our session so we begin our session um, so first of all i'd like to share few insights about um, the a level program uh, at cp goenka international school um, i'll be sharing one presentation with all of you Yes, CP Goenka International School started its journey twenty years ago with a vision that each of their learners grows into global citizen. Also, it's an educational hub for learning that matters, and it is here that we advocate the importance of well-defined development of personality with percentage, leading to holistic development of the learners. All, out of all our branches the a level program is currently implemented at our oshivara and thane centers in mumbai and also at our pune center and we are looking forward to many more talking about uh, the international recognition which uh, most of the parents and students have queries about i have already pasted the link over here in case if you want to check out more about the recognitions you can definitely visit uh, the link um, cambridge qualifications are accepted um, at over 1400 institution across 195 countries 
including the top ranking universities around the world and cambridge learners they are quite confident and their qualifications um are valued and understood throughout their education and career in their home country as well as they are internationally recognized uh in places like um, united states and canada good grades at a level um is carefully you know chosen and considered by cambridge international a levels and this can help um, up to one year of university course credit and like i said um, you can definitely visit the link and get to know more about you can know more about the recognitions uh coming to the program uh, a level program is a two year program um it's divided into year 1 and year 2 wherein year 1 is the advanced subsidiary level which is equivalent to grade 11 and year 2 is uh, advanced level which is equivalent to grade 12 uh, as we know cambridge conduct exams in different series uh, but at cp goenka international school for as level we have chosen may june series and the results uh, will be out and with the students in the month of august for a2 we will be taking february march series and the results will be out in the month of may before the students apply for any kind of university admissions they have the hard copy of the results with them which is i think an advantage um, for these students yes um, these are the subjects which we offer english maths then uh, commerce subjects economics business studies accounting sciences physics chemistry biology humanities uh, psychology sociology plus we have the other subjects also computer science media studies art and design environmental management and information technology plethora of subjects and we do have takers for all these subjects which we are offering a quick sneak peek into our virtual classrooms which we are conducting at um, cp goenka international school Uh, a lot of activity based learning is happening uh, we are conducting a lot of uh, virtual field trips students learn uh, by doing a lot of experiential learning happening in the classrooms and yes uh, today uh, in these times we have definitely brought technology inside our classrooms students are learning a lot of new subjects like i said media studies um, psychology sociology which they never studied in igcse or grade 10 or any other grade 10 from different boards but yes they are learning the new subjects over here and our classrooms are quite interactive uh apart from um taking care of the academics uh, that is our primary goal but we also support our students in uh, giving them support or providing uh, advice um, when it comes to choosing uh, future pathways so we do help them in selecting the subjects in such a way that it's helpful for the university admission so we do uh, help them with the career counseling and of course we have all our qualified and trained faculties uh, for all the subjects which i just showed you some time back not only taking care of uh, 11th and 12th um, but after that also we have a tie up with eq global college which is a uh, business and technology education council approved center it's a part of pearson education and these are the programs which are offered by eq global college it has a twinning system two years in india and uh, one year abroad and equivalent to a degree of graduation and also we have tie up with these uni sorry they have tie up with these universities so the future pathway becomes very very easy and they have lot of options to choose from so this was about the a level programs um, at cp goenka international school i have a lot of responses in the chat box um, uh, yes miss ketki wow it's a great opportunity to learn so many subjects yes um, we have uh, given a plethora of subject to all our students and they have made a wise decision to choose uh, so many subjects now because i have spoken about the a level programs i have one of our a level student uh, ms sanjana kurup uh, here with us and she's here to share her experience about um, a levels um, good evening sanjana good evening ma'am thank you for the introduction uh, could you please um, 
tell our uh, viewers that why did you choose a level program uh, I have always liked the idea of having streamlined subjects. And since I already have a career path planned out, choosing A-levels work perfectly in my favor. The quality of education that is offered is extremely advanced and helps if you want to specialize in a certain field. OK, so you are ready with your research. You were ready with your research before joining the program. That's great. Okay, why did you choose A level at CP Goenka International School? So while I was doing my research on which college I would want to go to, I came across CPGIS and I stopped looking because I instantly knew that this is where I wanted to go. The unique way of celebrating festivals and embracing cultures really got my attention. It also offers a wide variety of subjects, as you already mentioned earlier, to choose from, giving us an opportunity to pick subjects that are closest to our strengths and interests. OK, so you have chosen subjects which are close to your strengths. That's great. OK, could you tell us something more about your experience um, in this online platform, virtual learning? It's been quite an interesting journey so far. It's a whole new experience for both teachers and students. The teachers have made the best of the resources and have taken all the measures to help us and support us in any way required. We have had virtual field trips, we've had guest lecturers, and we've covered so much of our syllabus in such less time, and yet it doesn't feel rushed. So I think my experience so far has been terrific. So um, though these are unprecedented times, but uh, what I can say, Sanjana, I can conclude what you just said. That learning doesn't stop, it continues, right? So whatever platform, yes. but I've given you opportunities um, to learn. Yeah, that's great. All right, thank you so much for sharing this, Sanjana. So we got to know from a student's perspective and a real-time experience of being in the A-level classrooms. Um, moving next, um, as we all know that students uh, they start to plan their future, choosing the right subjects um, for the high school curriculum is at times, um, you know, a difficult decision to make. Uh, say, and these times we have so many options, so many subjects. So the question is, which subject to choose? And at times we stand at crossroads when we uh, really don't know what to do or how to go about. And most parents and students we want clarity how a level will help you know uh, to be equipped with today's ever challenging world uh, ever competitive world today i have with me uh, mrs deepa bhushan uh, director of schools cp goenka international school um, she's a passionate educator with over 25 years of experience and expertise in handling 360 degree domain of education with a proven record of success in the business management of schools, curriculum design, implementation, coaching, and mentoring of leadership. She is the recipient of National Award for Excellence from Kanchi Peet Shankaracharyaji for outstanding world in field of education. She has also created a robust curriculum assessment and training module that accelerates achievement and builds 21st century skills in the learners. A warm welcome to Deepa, ma'am. Thank you so much, Ritu. A pleasure to be here today. And uh, I was very happy to hear Sanjana speak. I think uh, when a child states that, you know, they are finding learning meaningful in their classes and they're enjoying themselves, uh, I think we've achieved what we wanted to do. And if we can set them on the right career paths, and not only career paths, but also leading a good life. I think we've really uh, been able to meet our vision, which is personality with percentage. And uh, so very happy to hear you speak, Sanjana. Thank you so much for that. Um, thank you, Ritu, here and ready for all your questions. Yes, I hope I'm able to answer all. Yes. So meanwhile, I ask questions. Um, audience, you can just write your questions, type your questions in the chat box. I'll take your questions. and. Um, Ma'am is here to answer all your queries, all your questions. Uh, 
Ma'am, to begin with, um, usually what happens? Uh, there are students um, who pass their grade ten from different boards here in India. Now, the first question what comes to any parents or child's mind is that after doing ten from different boards, are they still eligible for taking admission in A levels, or will they be able to do this A level program or not? So, uh, Ritu, the thing is that in uh, there is no stopping any kind of uh, eligibility for a student to get into the A level. So whether a child is from ICSC, CBSC, even a state board, they can get into an A level program and take on uh, the exams. But what it is is really about is the preparedness of the child. Are they ready to take on the level that is required, uh, you know, to do a program? So most schools uh, across India support children by having bridging programs like we do also at CPGIS. But uh, the bridging program supports children to get up to the level of AS, uh, which is uh, equivalent to year 11 of the normal colleges. And that's how students are then able to move to and you know, deal with the program really because uh, the A level program is an intense program and, uh, you know, brings in a lot of depth uh, of study for the children and also builds a lot of analytical application based skills for children. So, to get that into place, yes, there are bridging programs, but all board children from all boards can get into the AS program. Yes, I think, ma'am, bridging the program will definitely help all the students to bring them at a particular level. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, moving on next, ma'am. Um, so most of the parents um, uh, think that um, it's an international board. So after completing A-levels, um, what if I don't want to send my child abroad? What if my child continues the higher education? here only in India. So is that possible or do they need to go abroad after completing their A-levels? It is very much possible to continue studies in India. In fact, a lot of students, uh, uh, in fact, stay back in India after doing their A-levels, get into uh, regular universities that are there. So uh, the thing is that uh, the Cambridge uh, A-levels is accepted by uh, the AICE. Okay, which is uh, the organization that provides equivalence to all international uh, universities or programs that come uh, into India. And so Cambridge uh, AA levels is a recognized program uh, in India. So children can move into universities in India. Uh, the next thing is about the Cambridge program being making the children ready to get into universities. So it depends on the kind of program and the subject choices the children have taken and what they where they want to get into. If they know about that and they have worked backwards toward that, I would say that the Cambridge International Program, the A-Levels program, in fact, takes them 10 steps ahead. And uh, the children know more and are able to do better uh, when they move into universities in India. So that is something that really helps. Yes. Because as you mentioned that um, many A-level students pursue undergraduate programs in India only. They continue yes. their studies in Indian universities only. And uh, so how the transition of academics be? So will the child be able to cope with the curriculum which is being offered oh. by universities? Very much, very much. I must say that uh, like I said, the width, the depth and the breadth of the A-level subjects is so much that if a child is taking those subjects up at university level, the child is able to easily uh, transition uh, into the university programs here or even internationally. So there's no difficulty in that and they are able to do, do that. Uh, so I have a question in the chat box. Uh, Miss Tina is um, asking, my son has taken commerce. So is A-levels advisable? Yes, uh, very much so. You have accounts, business studies, uh, which is very interesting. Economics, very interesting. So I, I do recommend the AS level, A-level program to all children. Uh, so it is equivalent to your junior college 11th and 12th. Uh, you know, that's the equivalence the AICE has given uh, uh, the, the AS and the A-level program. Uh, 
it brings a lot of ground level and real life understanding for children when they take in commerce so there are so many case studies that the children have to learn through uh, there's a lot of application of their learning so when the children also move into the real world you know they are able to correlate what they have learned to what they need to utilize in their workplaces so um, i think the a level program is advisable completely so i think ms tina we have answered your question um, if your child has taken uh, commerce at a level uh, a commerce so a levels is advisable uh, next question if i can take from the chat uh, how does a level help a child to prepare for admission to professional courses like medicine or engineering well this is a very very uh, oft asked question is something that i would say uh, parents are very worried that if our child wants to get into medicine or engineering uh, how can they manage it so if you i am sure all of you are aware that you know there are the common entrance examinations the je main advanced for engineering architecture and all and of course also you have uh, the net neat exams now uh there have been students who have studied the a levels and then got in gotten into uh medicine and engineering in india have appeared for these examinations and uh, you know some of their feedback is also on the cambridge website and you know if anyone wants to look that up you can uh in, these children have told us and informed us that these the a levels program has actually given a lot of depth for these competitive exams so the children have had base understanding as very strong and on top of that they've had the ability to apply their knowledge so when they've done their mcqs or there's more understanding they've been able to do these competitive exams very easily and have been able to get into you know the iits and medical colleges and other engineering colleges and other courses too even private universities so uh medical and uh, engineering is not a, uh, an issue also what has happened is with the math series coming in uh the children get their results uh you know so the je main uh, happens in jan and april normally so uh, it happens twice uh, in a year so the children are easily able to give the exams also so they have time they finish with their feb math series and april is when they can give their je mains the results are out you know and uh, even the a level results are out by may so as a combination of everything all support so you have your grades in hand you have time to give your exams uh, because of the way the subjects are you are prepared with the subjects so all this helps you to kind of give your uh, you know je or neat or any other competitive exam you want to get do or give so yes you can and in fact i would recommend that do look up uh, the cai website uh, there are students who have given their feedback on how a levels a level programs help them uh, to enter for these examinations and they've gotten into colleges so they are simultaneously preparing for a levels also and their competitive exam preparation is also happening along with it happening yes yes, um, yes. we'll take the next question ma'am uh, so ms poonam is asking how many subjects are compulsory in a levels okay so poonam let me explain uh, something to you uh, you need to find out so cambridge has certain number of subjects that they ask for but uh, in india when we are uh, taking on the subjects it depends on where you want to go like uh, say if a child wants to apply for jee or neat right uh, as per the 2019 gr that came out uh, children need five subjects marks of five subjects for applying uh, for jee so the children need to have english as a mandatory or a language as a mandatory uh, subject plus four yeah normally uh, we recommend as schools most of the schools children take on Uh, a language plus three is how it goes. But if you are looking at going at competitive exams, then it's uh, you know a language plus four. Now, what we do recommend is that uh, any child who wants to take on or make a choice of subjects, you must uh, have a uh, what I would say is know about the university that you are applying for. because nowadays a lot of universities themselves private universities have their own competitive exams you know have their own choice of subject so if you know about 
you know where you want to go or what direction you're looking at it's always good to write to the universities and find out the number of subjects that you're looking for the specific subjects if you're looking at going internationally then if you write to universities and you ask them uh, they do write back to you and they do inform you about the kind of subjects that they're looking at the levels that you're looking they are looking at and by doing what level of subjects will you get credits so it's important that you find out before you take on the subject so even if you have taken on it you know during the as levels you can in the beginning the first two three months if you can make up your mind know where you want to go that helps you to make a choice uh, of the number of subjects that need to be done so i hope that answers your question so normally but schools have a, a, a language where is english language is mandatory uh, made but not for cai really but english language as well as uh, you know another three subjects but depends on the uh, university you're going to so i can see a lot of questions uh, in my chat box wherein uh, parents and educators want to know that what kind of flexibility in subject choice is provided by a level qualification so the the best thing about a level qualifications is the flexibility in the subject choice you can choose so the nep today is talking about you know um, cross lining uh, the streams right it's talking about uh, there being flexibility and merging so that children can pick on the subjects but a levels uh, this was already happening where children can merge subjects so you can take a physics and you can take an economics you can take a bio and you can take a business studies right so this is already happening with uh, a levels and this is something that's really really good this is one step of it but the second step is also what does your school offer it depends on that so normally schools structure it into science commerce and the humanities and vocational subjects so that's how it is structured based on how every school and every school does this differently though majorly uh, the structuring is there because if children want to get into universities they go based on the structuring of science commerce and humanities but uh, you know if your school allows it then it's great that you can cross um, into the various streams and pick on the subjects of your choice and study them so that's something that's really good about a levels all right ma'am my next question is uh, if you could just help us with the grading scale which is used for a level exams so uh, the grading scale for a levels is reported as a star to e with a star being the highest grade this is uh, equi so uh, a levels is equivalent to your 12th grade so in that a star is the highest grade and e is the lowest grade and then of course you have ungraded uh, for as level which is equivalent to your 11th grade uh, you have from a which is the highest grade to e which is the lowest grade those are the grade levels uh, that are there uh, before i take the next question i'd like to inform all the viewers in the chat box we have uh, pasted the link and the phone number in case if you want to get in touch with our admission offer officer all the details are being pasted in the chat box moving on to our next question um so a level program is a two year program as and a which is equivalent to grade 11 and grade 12 is the subject portion which is taught in as level checked again at a levels sorry ritu i missed your question uh, some part of it can you repeat it yeah so i am saying ma'am is the subject portion taught in as level is that assessed again at a2 level so grade 11 portion and grade 12 portion so is it there's a carry forward um, from grade 11 to grade 12 so uh yes to some extent to some extent because some uh, topics form the base for what is uh, you know as the advanced concepts so some of the concepts are but not everything it it's not like a replica of that with just a few added pointers but wherever base a base is required that adds on to that ritu all right so uh, we have a question in the chat box uh, wherein parents want to know maths compulsory for a level uh ritu uh 
is math repeat your question is math compulsory at a levels math is not compulsory uh math is not compulsory for students uh at a levels it all depends on where you want to go what is the career path you are doing which is the university that you are looking at and if for that you need maths then then is when you need to do math else you don't so for all the children who find math tough uh this is a good time you can say thank you to it but for those who need it for future careers career pathways do need to take on math um ma'am could you just um, tell us more about the acceptance of a level and the recognition in india recognition acceptance. of a level yes so uh ritu uh, a levels is very much accepted in india the association association of indian universities the organization that awards equivalence to foreign degrees in india has granted equivalence to cambridge international a levels igcse and also o levels uh, this ensures a smooth progression for children who choose to study and continue their studies in india and this is recognized as 11th and 12th uh, grade uh, in 2016 17 and if you look it up on the site also there were almost 68000 entries uh that was sent to cambridge from india for igcse and a levels and all our stud all the students have not gone abroad they are very much here so there has been a good uh, interaction between the students ritu are you facing a network issue no ma'am i can hear you okay. all right okay i couldn't see you clearly so i was wondering maybe it's uh, with my uh, network okay all right uh, thank you also um do students receive separate result certificate for as level and a level how do they receive the results so they receive separate results based on the year the students are giving in so they can give sometimes the the children can also give an as level paper in a2 or they can give all a2 papers at a2 level so depending on the same whichever year they get into based on that they receive the result certificate Oh. i hope that explains uh so yes. let me just elaborate a little further uh in that is that say uh, a child may not appear for a as level subject may not feel prepared at say uh end of year 11 yeah and may want to appear for it in year 12 so then the child will get the result with of the as level subject with the 12th grade subjects but the grading would be only from a to e for that subject okay uh i can see a lot of questions in the chat box and parents again uh, it's a similar question which ma'am she has already answered uh, what kind of flexibility in subject choices are provided uh, we have already answered Yes how do i get in touch for admission whom do i contact we have already posted the link um, in the chat uh, with the phone number and the website you can definitely uh, get in touch with the admission officer uh, the admission officer will help you with the admission process we can definitely have one on one counseling also uh, next question uh, what i see in the chat box is is there any interview or entrance exam um happening during admission uh yes we would have an interview and an admission uh but it's not really uh to kind of uh, assess uh, the level of the learner to say yes or no it is to assess the level of the learner to know whether they the kind of support that they need for the program that's what we are looking at so that's where the interview uh, and the written test comes in to the process uh i'll take one more question from the chat box um from your vast experience can you say that um as an a level promotes an aptitude for research yes very much so it does uh you know when the children are uh, 
the kind of examinations that are there the schools have to teach role so it roll back uh, rolls back to the schools the schools have to teach in that manner and uh, you know unless the children research their thinking skills their capabilities uh, don't come into play so i'll give you an example when the children are doing business studies and they are doing case studies they they need to understand what the case study is telling telling them they need to go back do a little research understand what were similar cases that happened uh, you know what was the analysis that was done for those cases and then come back and say okay now how do i apply this knowledge when i'm answering my questions so yes a level uh, does promote an aptitude for research completely completely the sciences i think naturally everyone knows uh, you know uh, kind of encourage research but even for commerce subjects for this to happen is something that is really great that happens with that this program all right moving to our next question um will the cambridge report card have percentage also mentioned alongside the grades which is given in the results uh with the child has scored in the examination yes so this is something that is specially for india just like for igcse you have the percentage uniform marks given so do you have that for the a level but this is only for india it does happen it helps us because the children want to get into universities in india we know that for one seat uh, you know there are 10000 applicants or so many more so it's that point percentage really that helps but yes a rounded a percentage uniform mark is what we get uh ma'am i have one more question coming from miss neetu and she is writing is the entrance mandatory for the kids who are already in cpgis uh <laughs> well <laughs> we know that we are working with our cpgis learners uh very hard and our children are doing really well so not really it's based on their results uh that they get during uh, their prelims their predicted grades and of course we look back to their results and the kind of work that they put in across the years also uh because a levels does need work you know it's not something that you can take lightly there's a lot of depth in the subjects uh and we are looking at our children uh taking in a lot from the program so yes we do look at our children but we don't have uh, an entrance exam that is mandatory but uh, you know we do map what they have done across the years Yes moving on to the next question um again i am getting the same question what is the admission procedure which all documents i need to submit uh, for all these queries you will have to call up our admission officer get in touch with the admission officer um they will help you they will guide you with all the documents all the support needed uh, for securing your admission um, uh, into our a level college uh, moving on to our next question um Yes. Um, are there any high chances to get selected or get first preference for Indian stu students studying in A level in foreign university? Is there any preference or high chances? No. It really depends on how the children have performed. If they have done well, uh, you know, uh, they do get a preference. It it all depends on how the children have performed. uh when well, indian students do well indian students do well uh, i'm saying that but there is nothing of that sort it's just basically dependent on the grades but here i would like to mention to you that good grades at a level can result in one full year of advanced standing of credit uh, at universities in usa and canada uh, so children who have done well at a levels so that's what you get Uh, Mama, one more question. Uh, I think um, we'll take this because this is important. Uh, a parent is uh, has written that after twelfth standard, can they join A level? Which is yes. I think no, no, yes. right. So uh, A levels is equivalent to eleventh and twelfth uh, of your normal uh, regular college. That's the equivalence that is there. so unless there is a particular reason that a child is interested in a subject of study and wants to give an examination 
there the age criteria is not there so a child can give those papers and those examinations yeah uh, a11 is equivalent to the 12th grade exam but if you want to take up a specific paper like a vocational subject or any of the sciences or anything because of interest and you want to do that or for any particular reasons because you want to go abroad or anything of that sort you can take it up there is uh, no age criteria you can give this uh, give the subject as a private candidate also you can study for it and give it as a private candidate you can do that i have one more question um which i will take kids get admission after getting uh, their board results or schooling uh, results more than enough uh, so what is the date of admission form uh, well um, we will um, are they asking for cp goenka international yes, school yes ma'am uh, yes ma'am all right ritu you would like to answer that question <laughs> yes um so we wouldn't wait for the board exams to get over you can contact us uh, the details are already there in the chat box uh, for the date of admission form also uh, please get in touch with the number and the admission officer mm, the number is there in the chat box and we wouldn't wait for the board results um, to be declared and then uh, get in touch you can do that uh, as of now uh today tomorrow whenever time permits you can get in touch with the admission officer yeah so um one more question uh, we will uh, take from the chat box uh there's a question um english is a compulsory subject and um, there are two english papers offered at a levels uh what is uh, what do we choose and what is the difference so i think we can um, inform parents of what is um, how do we choose and what do we choose yes so uh, there are two papers that are offered uh, at a levels one is of course your regular english language and there is a general english uh, paper that is offered uh, at uh, a levels uh, as levels sorry uh now what happens is general english lang general english language is a paper that just came in a few years back was uh because children who had uh, were keen on getting into medical or engineering uh you know had to invest a lot of time in studying of the subjects as well as for competitive exams and uh, so uh and maybe may not uh you know may not essentially have had the skill sets to write an intense paper of english uh because english is at a high level at cambridge so uh, the general english paper was brought in at that time and uh, you know uh, it's a much simpler version of general english but is it, this is a paper that is acceptable in all universities but if you are looking at majoring in english or you know taking on the humanities or anything like that then you need to go in for english which is 9093 uh, uh the subject code is 9093 and uh, you look at taking on that that english paper but if you're looking at medical or engineering and your focus is more on the sciences or math and uh, in other subjects you can go for the general english paper which is the subject code is 8021 and it is much more simpler uh, in a sense of uh, more general in sense and more based on communication skills all right um i hope uh... we have answered almost all the questions and like i said uh, in case if you have any more questions you can write to us we will definitely revert um it was indeed a very very insightful session and uh, ma'am you have answered almost all our queries um thank you for uh, being there with us um thank you sanchana thank you. for being with us um in case uh, if you all have any more questions please do write to us and uh, we will revert back. thank you so much for joining us today thank, thank you. you thank you so much ritu it's been a pleasure to be here i hope more and more children look at a levels as a program uh, you know which is very meaningful and want to take it up i must say that you know the new education policy has come up in india now uh, we're very happy to see it uh, uh, here but we know that a lot of uh requirements of children in work related spaces uh you know developing skill sets for the future 
actually come through this program. So bringing in a lot of depth in study, which is the academic side of it, but also the skill side, uh, which comes in from this program is done through uh, the A-level program. So I'd encourage more and more parents to look at the, the program and uh, more and more students to come through. And of course, uh, I can't resist this, uh, you know, even though I'm speaking as a neutral person today, but uh, um, I think the way the program is conducted at CP Goenka International Schools is commendable. We've had Sanjana speak uh, for the program and, uh, you know, children must take this opportunity and take this forward. So, yes, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you much, so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am.